Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install some Hike Vision dome cameras. These have already been hardwired. The wires are in place, so I'm just going to be installing the cameras. So first of all, I'll do a quick unboxing to show you what's, what's included here. You have a drone template. You have a CD and a manual. I'd recommend downloading the latest software off the Hikvision website. You have your grommet or coupler for making a watertight seal once the camera is wired and installed. You have your Allen key or star wrench to uh, open up the dome camera. You have some screws to install the camera. And then finally, the camera itself. It's well packaged for protection. There's a bag of this to keep it in the moisture out. And here's the camera itself. It also has plastic over the dome to help protect it from any scratches. Just going to quickly look at the connections here. You have the RJ45 female, which is also responsible for the PoE, so you can inject power without running a separate uh, line to this camera. You have your AC line in case you don't have a PoE switch to put power into the camera. And then you have these two for the alarm and for the audio. In my application, I won't be hooking this up today. I'll just be uh, using the RJ45 PoE. I've temporarily installed my cameras just to make sure that the lines are working properly. I uh, verified in the Hikvision tools that the cameras are visible on my network. So I'm going to go ahead with the install. In order to install the camera, you need to remove the top of the dome, and that's done so with the star wrench that's included. Alright, I just loosened up the last screw. Take the top off. There you go. So the dome is actually connected by this uh, piece of ribbon here, so that if it happens to fall off, it won't actually hit the ground and break. And here is the camera. You have your IR, your IR lights here for night vision. And this part right here, I believe, is to detect if it's uh, dark or not. And it will turn on and off the uh, the IR lights. I also change some of the settings, like your shutter speed and apertures, to get a good nighttime picture. Inside. See, there's one of these bags in here to prevent moisture from accumulating and if there is any moisture it will um, absorb it so it doesn't perform, have an impact on the performance or cause rust. These are very solid made, nice feel to them. has a, a rubber a seal around the, uh, the outside there to prevent any water from coming in. I'm going to go ahead and use these holes right here for the uh, the install into the uh, under part of my roof there. I noticed an improvement there in this uh, camera compared to the other ones. It feels a bit more solid than the other ones in my previous videos. And um, the lens actually turns and swivels pretty easily compared to the, uh, to the other ones. There's nothing you need to loosen up. It still has this plastic piece here, which is kind of cheap feeling, but once it's all set up, you don't even notice it. And it doesn't have an impact, it's just there for, for, for cosmetics. So I have that one camera installed, but yeah, I don't have it positioned correctly. The idea is to have a, a good view up the, the front door here, probably about like that. So what I'll need to do is uh, 
Get up on the ladder here. And uh, just do a couple of adjustments. Just roughly point it in the right direction. Turn it a little bit. I don't want too much of the house in the picture. Maybe about like that. So I think that that should be good there. So I'll just leave it like that. I'll go inside and have a look and uh, see what the picture is like. And if it's good, then I'll put the, uh, the cover back on. So I've already downloaded the Vision tools, start it up and go to the utility called SADP. And you can see all of the cameras that are currently active on your network. Here you can change the IP address and the port for each of the cameras, which I've already done. And then uh, go to that IP address in your browser and log into the camera. The username by default is admin and the password is 12345. And you'll get a reminder to change that. Next, go to Live View and you may be, download, may be asked to download a, a component to help uh, see the video. Go ahead and uh, download that and uh, you should uh, get a good view of what your camera sees right here. Looks like I need a minor adjustment, so I'll just uh, run out and get that fixed. So the camera needs a minor adjustment. A little bit higher. There we go, that should do it. I'll go inside and make sure and then I'll move on to the next one. Perfect, this is exactly the view that I was looking for. And here is uh, an actual view of the footage that this camera is producing. So since everything looks good on the inside, I just need to uh, cover this up. So basically all I need to do is place this on. Um, there's a couple of little grooves where it fits in. And uh, once the cover is in, in its right spot, then I can use the star key to uh, to uh, tighten it up and then it's good to go. So the screws are all in tight and the unit is secured. The only thing left to do is to remove this bit of plastic here on the front. You're going to notice that some of the IR lights are actually covered up by the plastic or by the, uh, sorry, the metal cover itself which is a little bit concerning because those lights won't be useful once they turn on at night. So ideally, if you want to have your camera in a spot where all those lights are going to have access to your subject. Um, yes, that's uh, it for this video. Um, I'll just give you a quick glance of how things are going to look once it's uh, all completed here. And there you go. There's the final view of the three Hikvision dome cameras installed. Thanks again for watching.